Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. A little over a week ago, Adobe released an update to Lightroom Classic version 11.4. When that update was released, I did a video talking about some of the new features found in that version of Lightroom. And one of those new features I mentioned was that when you apply an AI mask to an image and copy those settings from that image to another image, the AI mask remains AI on the new image. Now, I only mentioned it in that other video. I didn't demo it. And that's what we're going to be doing today. For this video, I have this image. And I already did some basic processing to this image. And that's all I did to it. And I just did that to save some time. I also have two other images. And the other images, I didn't do any processing at all. And all three of the images have different subjects. You could see this one has a sculpture, this one has a sailboat, and this one has a lighthouse. Also, the sky's horizon line is different, slightly at least, in all three images. So what I'm going to do is this first image that I already did the basic processing to, I'm going to add a couple different AI masks to it. And then I'm going to copy the settings from this image to those other two images to show you that the AI mask remains AI. Now let me show you. I'm going to go to masking and I'm going to do the sky first. So I'm going to select the sky and it selected the sky. And maybe I'll just bring exposure down just a little bit, bring highlights in that. I'm going to add some contrast and I'm going to add some clarity and some texture to that sky. Now I'm going to select the subject. So I'll create a new mask, select subject. So it's select the lighthouse fine. For this one, I'll just make it a little brighter and add a little contrast and bring shit or highlights down a little bit. And I'm going to add some clarity and some texture. All right, I added these two different AI masks, one for the sky and one for the subject. Now I'm going to go to this next image, which was totally unprocessed, not processed at all. And I want to copy all the settings from that first image to this image. There's a number of different ways to do that. For this, I'm just going to click on Previous. When I do that, it will copy all those settings I just did to that first image to this image. And you can see it did it. Now look at the mask. I'll go to the first or the second mask, actually, the, the subject mask. And you can see it found the new subject. Even though the previous subject was a lighthouse and this subject is a sailboat, it found the sailboat properly. And the sky, it found the sky. And we'll do it again. We'll go to this one with the sculpture. And I'll click on Previous. And it will do its thing. And you'll see momentarily, once it kicks in, that it found the subject and it found the sky. Now, it, this copying of AI mask not only works with the Previous button. It works in other ways. You could copy settings from one image to another. For example, let's reset this one with the sculpture. And let's reset the one with the sailboat. Let's click on that first image that is now totally processed. It has uh, basic processing done to it and it has two masks applied to it. And now I'm just going to hold the shift key in and click on the last image. So that last image is selected as well. Then I'm going to go over and click on sync. And when you do that, you get the synchronized settings box come up and you can see that everything's checked except masking. See this new masking over here? This wasn't here in previous versions of Lightroom. Well, in let's say version 10 of Lightroom, it wasn't here. So we're going to copy all these masks as well. So I'm going to check that and we're going to copy those masks and we're going to synchronize. And when it does that, it will do exactly what it did when I hit the previous button before, except it's doing it to both of the images that weren't processed at the same time. And you can see here's this one and it found the sailboat, it found the sky, and here's this one. It found the sculpture and it found the sky. So that's the new AI masks that you now can copy from one image to another image. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs>